Okay, this will be a video chart on GOIG, GOIP Global Incorporated. This did this one a few days ago, and um, things just continue to go well for it, so I want to get it updated here. Uh, the last time I did it, we had a chart that looked like this, and pretty much what I was saying was this could p potentially be a good breakout here, but uh, confirmation would be a break and close above this orange line here, which is the 200 day something we were in average. And you can clearly see that uh, on Friday of last week that was the case. Not only did it, uh, you know, close or break above it, it closed way above it, and then today gapped up and ran way up here. So from you know right here at 0.004 to you know possibly up here, that's almost 100% gain. So um, it definitely, you know, made a nice move out of this break. And um, like Friday showed us, this was a legit break, had true strength. And looking down at volume, you can see it continues to increase. So really, you know, the chart's firing on all cylinders here. So now what I want to do is just pretty much get things updated. Um, first thing that needs to be updated is simply this resistance is no longer a resistance. It has been turned into a support. So there we go. That is that. Uh, I think I'll leave this triangle up here or the pattern just to remind everybody how, you know, the power of charts, people that notice this break, break, excuse me, break out here, uh, had a chance to make some real good money. Um, but what we now need to do is find where the next uh, levels of resistance are. And actually, uh, it looks like we bounced right off it, and I'll kind of show what I mean. But if we go back here and look at this section of the chart, uh, we have an area right here where uh, if we look, you can see we had some lows. So this is where it acted as uh, support, you know, got up above it again, couldn't really handle it. There we had a high that went up above it. Here we had another high right here. So it went from basically support to acting as resistance in these two areas. And this level is right here at uh, 007. So actually the James Bond level we have as resistance. And although we didn't quite get up there today, uh, got close enough with 0069. So the next key area of resistance is going to be from the James Bond level. Um, so hopefully we can turn James Bond into an ally here and get him in as a support level. Uh, but for the time being, uh, up here at 007, uh, Mr. Bond is going to be a uh, resistance level and a bad guy for now. With the candle form today, this is uh, pointing to a possible pullback uh, just because, you know, this tail shows that there's people taking profits. You know, one thing to remember is don't freak out when you hear the word pullback. Red days aren't a bad thing as long as certain support levels hold. And what we're looking at right now is a couple support levels. Uh, this one right here that I'm mapping out is kind of the the key one that you really want to see hold, uh, worst case, this is at 0.0044. I just want to make that one uh, a little thicker. And the reason I point out that is it's essentially the same as this 200 day something we've been average. And if we want to keep this nice bullish momentum going, we're going to want to maintain above this orange line here, which, like I said, uh, orange line 200 day valued at 0.0045. This previous high right here valued at 0.0044. So basically the same thing. Now we still have this other line right here, 0.005. This is kind of what I'm going to call the ideal support level, meaning ideally we'd like to see it hold, but if it doesn't, no need to panic because we still do have the 200 day and this level right here underneath us as support too. Now if these levels can hold, it'll probably be a drop all the way down to one of these moving averages. Uh, with that being said, each day that passes, these will move higher and higher. So if you know it, this breaks and it's but it's not till Thursday. That'll mean that these moving averages are probably right up here anyways, so that's where the support would be. Um, but from the time being where, where we are now, you know, that would take quite a bit for these levels to, uh, you know, not hold down here, considering we closed right, uh, way up here at 0.006. So overall, the chart's still looking good. Uh, increasing volume is always a good thing, but uh, it's looking like a, a possible pullback coming here, some consolidation with the candle that was formed. Um, but if it does want to keep going up, you know, you got the James Bond level right here at... Uh, 007 and then we have our support levels uh, down here at 0 0.005 and then 0 0.0045 and uh, we'll just I was thinking if I want to try to find a resistance after James Bond but right now we'll just worry about hopefully uh, getting through that when I want to get too far ahead of ourselves so that is where the chart stands right now uh, you know congratulations once again to everybody that noticed the breakout and then played the uh, confirmation of it when it got above this 200 day very nice move there so we'll have to see what happens going into the future uh, if there are any other questions, please let me know. If you have not yet, I'd encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll be sent a free ebook. And with your newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, 
all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stacks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And best part is everything's free. So it's worth at least signing up and giving a try. One more time, this was G-O-G, or excuse me, G-O-I-G. Thanks for listening.